Welcome and welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host Galadon. If it is your first time here, now is a great chance to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications because of course I promise to bring you the earliest and most accurate update information. But today, today we've got massive gemming. We've got, well, nearly a forgotten account. I, I actually apologize to this account and to those of you that loved the Fix That Rush series. This is Galadon 13.0, one of the most expensive accounts. Actually, it's the second most expensive account I've ever owned in Clash of Clans. We'll talk about those totals today, but the most recent update did cause this account to no longer be maxed out. Remember, we finished the Fix That Rush series. We called it Gem Farm Fix Max That Rush, and it took about 102 episodes or 101 episodes to get to that point. And then they go and drop another update on us, Okay, so we redesigned the progress base to show the buildings that post-update are no longer fully maxed out. And unfortunately, I've kind of let this account fall behind. Now, remember, it's not a purely gemming account like maybe my main account is. And it's also not purely free-to-play, obviously, like Galadon 3.0. We're kind of in between. Okay, well, not really. In between, we're more leaning towards the Dirty Gemmer side, I will admit. Now, I didn't buy, like, this package, the $50 Spring Special. Believe it or not, I passed on that. But we bought several other packages, and throughout the episode today, we'll show a few more purchases that we made. The idea is that we're going to do some raiding, CWL, Clan Wars, and some package purchasing, but not outright resource purchasing. Now, if you want to see resource purchasing outright, there is, of course, the No Clash Cash series, one of the several series on the channel where we pretty much don't battle, we just gem, which is, yeah, that's that's the worst. Or the best. I don't know. It depends upon what you think. So, here we go. Just going to do a little fast forward action for you guys on this account, trying to get some of the more boring upgrades done so that we can get to the good stuff so that, well, there'll probably be another update and then we won't be maxed out anymore but i guess that's kind of the point of the whole game right i mean that's what i hear from everybody all of you oh galadon i just got to maxed out town hall 13 and they dropped another update now i have to start over again isn't that the point that's the whole idea supercell is doing their job if a large number of players just barely gets it maxed out and then are all forced to start upgrading stuff again because I guess the theory is, if you're fully maxed out, what is there left to do? And I've heard that a lot of you guys in your comments. Galadon, your main account is maxed out. Aren't you bored? What is there else to do in the game? And it's kind of true. I mean, unless you want to push trophies, unless you want to be the best war player or CWL superstar ever, there's not a lot to do. And, of course, the Legend League issue that I keep addressing and I keep bringing up to the Clash of Clans team. And I will never give up until... There is a Legend League shop in which you can spend those hard-earned Legend League trophies for something completely useless like statues. Okay, so there we go. The Bomb Tower going up to the next level. And uh, that was it. So that was the first defensive upgrade. Going to get some more of these uh, Dark Elixir drills done. Get them on the correct side of the walls. Remember, everything below and to the right needs to be upgraded. Everything above and to the left has been fully upgraded. And here we go to the hammers. Check this one out. You guys ready? That's right, massive hammers. We're going to do some serious hammering right here. Now, of course, I don't need a hammer of heroes, at least not yet. I don't know, do we hear level 75 heroes in our future? I bet it happens. I bet we see like five more levels squeezed out of the king and the queen before Town Hall 14, just to keep things in balance. Although right now, offense is pretty strong. So, yeah, maybe not. But, okay, so we've got a hammer for the Valkyries. I figure it's probably the best way to go. 260,000 Dark Elixir and instantaneously upgrading the level 8 Valkyrie. Then a hammer on the 16-day upgrade of a Bomb Tower. That saves over two weeks of a Builder, which is insane. Man, comparing these upgrade times to my free-to-play account, that's, oh, I'm not, I'm not looking forward to that. I'm really not. And then, of course, we had, what, 50 more wall segments to go? Yeah, that's going to take a little while on this account. That's where I think most of the farming is going to come in. That and, well, the archer towers also. Okay, so let's see. Let's fast forward just a bit. That's right. Oh, we refreshed the creator code. If you guys don't remember to do that, please do every seven days. Go to settings, more settings, refresh that creator code before you make any purchases. And I was making sure I did that every time before I bought more stuff here in this episode, which, by the way, if you guys were wondering, 
this episode spans over a month of gameplay because I really did pretty much forget about this account. I, I, I know that if you guys watched the series, one of my next goals in the previous episodes was don't forget about this account. I absolutely did, and it sat dormant for the most part for nearly a month, at least not upgrading. I was using it in the Just Galadon 10v10 Wars, and I was using it to donate where it was needed, but that was about it. I really honestly did neglect this account. And uh, it feels bad. It feels bad to drop over six grand on an account and not use it, right? So uh, don't remind me. I'll remind myself later on in the status report. But we've got more packages. This was I don't know when, a couple of weeks ago. Like I said, we're going through over a month of past time here to get all of these upgrades done. There, the final Dark Elixir drill is complete. That'll get over to the completed side. And now it's looking a little more quiet over here. Just have about a dozen defensive upgrades and a couple more lab upgrades to get those done as well. Love the statues, by the way. I am always going to be a sucker for a good statue, especially if it has an animation like that. A lot of players ask me about the dragon statue. Uh, it showed up in the shop. You had to spend real money on it. I think I want to say it was about $10 and it came with another couple of books or runes or something like that. So it kind of made it feel like it was worth it, but hopefully that one will come back again. Then we did get out and raid, and yes, I will have a full-on Town Hall 13 raid in a minute, but I decided to edit out the remainder of this attack because there was really no need to show you me attacking a Town Hall 12 in Titan League. It's just kind of useless, but that is what is going to happen from time to time. We get the job done, we pick up the three star, and we move on. So, you know, it's not really that difficult. I do still say that Titan League is a great place to practice your attacking strategies without paying for it. Obviously, you've got friendly challenges as well. We went in, we renewed the creator code one more time, and then dropped in to buy a bunch more of these books. There is the Stay Home base, by the way. If you like that base, that is definitely one of my favorite bases there. It is also listed on my Discord server. If you ever want any of my base designs on any of my town halls or builder halls go to discord.gg slash galadon gaming and i have them all there under linked bases from videos so look for that room in my discord okay so back to the lab as you can see we're down to barbarians and goblins i think that's about it so book it barbarians are done and uh, that's, well, we're pretty darn close at this point. We need the goblins, and I believe that will be a fully maxed out lab. So let's go ahead and pop another rune of elixir. How many runes? Did, I don't even keep track of this, honestly, in this video. How many hammers? How many runes? It is countless. It is definitely the most I've ever used in one video. And that is going to be it for goblins. There we go with another book. I mean, seriously, books, hammers, and runes. Come on. There it is. So that lab looking pretty sweet, I think. Oh, wait minions gosh darn it okay so the minions are the only thing that still needed to go we had a rune of dark elixir or something i don't know or a bunch of it maybe we farmed it i honestly don't remember but there it is okay so now it's a fully maxed out lab there it is as you can see we've got everything complete so i guess it's time for a new troop or a new level to troops or spells or heroes or something to screw me up because it is always going to be that way so there we go eight archer towers and then some mortars and we'll be set so let's pop oh we don't need to pop that wait oh oh man wasted dark elixir okay so we'll figure that out at some point we will use that i don't know what but it's gonna have to happen right maybe a new dark elixir troop maybe new levels like i said level 75 heroes could happen level 80 level 100 probably at town hall 14 but okay in the meantime using the runes to grab a few more of these walls I cannot wait until all of the walls go to level 14. I think they look so much better than the level 13 walls. I don't know. Ever since they were released, I really just dislike the look of the level 13 walls. They feel lower level to me, but that's just, you know, me. My Town Hall 9 wants to slap this Town Hall 13 in the face and say, Come on, man! I'm struggling to get level 11 walls, and you're going to complain about 13s? Shut up, Galadon 13.0. Okay, uh, what are we doing here next? Okay, so we've got mortars. Only four mortars left to go. Plenty of money to get some of those done. So we're going to burn through a few more runes to get these mortars to level 13. Now we're talking about like nearly present day footage. This is stuff that just happened a couple of days ago. 
And if you need to see it as it is at this moment, remember fb.gg slash realgaladongaming, where I am live streaming every single day. It's been 62 days of self-quarantine, isolation, whatever the freak you want to call it. And it's been 62 days of live streaming without a break, folks. That's right. So come on and join me as we keep the streak alive. Okay, so a couple of mortars going. The way I did this was I would do a mortar, then I would do a wall, and then I would do a rune. And that was kind of keeping the storages almost empty. And then 18 million again, pop another mortar, 11.6, pop another wall. Wait, okay, so we use the book first. And then pop another wall. That takes us down a little bit closer to broke. And that way we're only wasting that 1.6 million in gold each time we use another rune. Here it comes. The final gold rune. I don't think I have any left at this point. So this is where the upgrades will slow down. We've got the last mortar going to max so we don't have any room on the completed side so i just left him over there give me a break and then we'll do a few more walls and uh, we had oh we had some more rings also got to do that and uh, i think this is just about the present state of the base as of recording this episode and releasing it here in the next day or so uh, we did do the gem gifts we bought all of those and yes you're welcome free to play account is that cheating i i, I don't i don't think it's cheating I mean, it's not like everybody in my clan bought tons of gems, but my free.0 account did get a few free gems from the packages that other players bought. Then, here we go. So this is a real raid. I mean, this is a nearly maxed out Town Hall 13. Also, one of my favorite base designs. I love, love anti-three-star bases. I hate, despise, absolutely dislike any ring base. But, you know, we're getting there. We're doing fewer one-star attacks on those. But on these... I'll tell you right now, if you can keep your queen alive and get somewhat of a funnel going in the beginning, it's almost tough to lose. So the thought was here, Archer Queen goes in 3 o'clock, gets out the Town Hall enclosure, Barb King goes in 6 o'clock, takes out those trash buildings in the bottom left, and then after the single target Inferno and straight for the Eagle would come the Hog Riders. Check it out though. That's right. You thought I was a one-trick pony. Just when you thought Galadon only used hybrid, I go in with mass hog riders. So we've got hog riders in the siege barracks. I've got hog riders and nothing else as the main portion of this army. And I will admit I got pretty lucky finding a base like this because you need those miners to hit the town hall activated early. If you've got the town hall down with your queen charge and here come 31 plus hog riders. They're going to merge with the ones out of the siege barracks as well. And now it just comes down to, as we always say, a little bit of spell timing and placement getting those heals in the freeze is in there as well i hate the scatter shot oh man those scatter shots do so much work good timing between the freeze and the hogs getting that one down and we're feeling pretty good right about here i'm thinking you know what this looks like it's going to be a triple archer queen still up the warden following those hog riders and we still have the royal champions ability looking good plenty of time and we're gonna kick back and relax so yes i'm still having fun playing this account but here's the question. What do we do in the future? You know, what happens in the future with this account, with the other Rush 13, with my really Rush 12, with my maxed out account? Obviously, the normal answer would be that the maxed out account goes to Town Hall 14, which I predict, by the way, comes in the summer update of 2021. Mark my words. That's what I think. Town Hall 14, summer 2021. And then this account will stay at a maxed out Town Hall 13 state. But we've got some other plans in mind as well. And you never know, Supercell Clash of Clans might have some other weird type updates that are going to change the game. Just just saying. Not that I know anything. But if I did, I couldn't tell you. Just, just saying. Okay, so 35 seconds left. There it is. This raid is done. Another three star. Pretty good loot. Pretty good trophies. And we will continue to farm. In fact, I think with this raid right here, we should have enough to go ahead and upgrade one of those archer towers before we wrap up the episode and head on over to the status report. This felt pretty good and I feel like it's good practice. I'm ready to switch tactics. I'm sick and tired of hybrid and you guys probably are as well. I know it's strong. It's become like the new Yeti smash spam. It's easier to do than most other attacks. And I feel like it's just something if you practice over and over and over again, you're going to get better at it. And that's kind of the point that I've reached with that attack. So here we go. We've got the archer towers and some wall segments. Looks like uh, 33 walls and eight archer towers. So there goes one. 
So now we've got seven Archer Towers to go, 33 wall segments left, and this account will once again be fully maxed. The only key is, can we get this done before there's another update that creates the whole need to upgrade again? And I guess at that point, then this will just become... A f oh. Oh, man. Oh, come on. I forgot... I forgot to buy the gold pass, and I upgraded an Archer Tower, and I did not buy the gold pass. So the Clockwork King gold pass... And yes, we did waste a little bit of loot right there doing that. I, I always forget to do this. Okay, fine. Now, hey, speaking of, what do you guys think about the Clockwork King? Me, I, I'm not a big fan. I mean, I hate to put it down, but as far as Clockwork skins go, I like the Warden much better. I know a lot of people don't like the whole series, but I really do like the Warden. Just the King is, he just feels, he feels too Lego Minecraft and not enough Steampunk. I really like the steampunk feel and look to the Warden, but I feel like they've gone a slightly different direction, maybe unintentionally, with the Clockwork King. We'll see what happens with the Queen, but I fear that the Queen is going to look more like the King than the Warden, and uh, that's that's just my opinion. Now, of course, there is no guarantee, but if you recall, there was a tweet or a post or somewhere the Supercell Clash of Clans team posted a picture with like the warden and then two question marks behind him and they did say it was going to be a set so here we go two of three i'm assuming we're not yet going to see a royal champion skin which is kind of a bummer i would love to see her get included in all of this stuff but i suspect it will be a few more months before we actually see the royal champion get a skin simply because there's not enough players at town hall 13 to make it worthwhile you have to remember that bottom line the Clash team wants people to want to buy the gold pass, and if they're giving you a skin to a hero that you are nowhere near unlocking, the likelihood, even though, and by the way, yes, even though if you do unlock a hero skin and you don't yet have that hero, like you're at Town Hall 8 and you unlock the Town Hall 9 Archer Queen skin, yes, it will be saved, it will be banked for you until you unlock said hero. Okay, so don't worry about that. You won't miss out because you didn't have that hero unlocked at the time. And we talked about this earlier. We have the fun fountain, the anniversary fountain right there with the S. And it's got an animation. So that, again, is what I like. Any sort of decoration that has an animation. Okay, let's just admit it. I'm going to buy any decoration, period. There is nothing I will say no to. Okay, so let's move on to the status report where we review, for the first time in a couple of months, the total amount spent today's episode... 163.81. You ready for this? Brace yourselves. Oh, 63.45.06. That is a lot of money on this account. About 8,000 gems spent today as well. My total time spent on this account, 268 hours. That was just unrushing it. And then next goals. Well, look at this. This was the last next goal. Don't forget about this account. Oops, sort of did, did that. But I, I won't now. I promise. Maxed out Town Hall 13 next episode. It's going to happen. And if you're still here, thank you for making it all the way to the blizzle first stuff of the episode. You're the true Gallo fam. I love to think about and appreciate every single one of you every single day. So be kind to people. Be honest. Play I forgot the rest of full text. Getting up there in the years.